It's breaking down, down. Welcome back guys, my name is Kirby. Look at these requests right here. Bow. How about his identity tutorial? His pattern please. Kirby Beatbox, I'm waiting for his tutorial. Everyone will love it if you do it. Your 327th subscriber. So that's why we're making his identity today. If you want to hear when his does identity himself, just check the link down in the description and you can see it for yourself. I'm not gonna make his whole routine because first off I think it's a bit too long and second off I can't do his clops, the his triple clop, very fast and clean and sound like very loud. So I'll make about half of his routine and I hope that will be just fine and I think that suits pretty well in one video anyway. If you want to know more about the his clop I will tell you some more at the end of this video. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and let's get right into it, let's get right into the sounds you will need. So the first sound that you probably will need is the bongo drum or the vocalized case snare as I like to call it. <coughs> it's making a case snare and I have a tutorial for the case snare so you can check out the link in the description to get to my tutorial for the case snare and then you add on a vocal tone to it so it's like <coughs> so you will also need the trumpet and it's the you can search up a tutorial, trumpet sound beatbox tutorial and I hope you will find it. Basically the trumpet in a quick tutorial is making a hole right here, something like that and then you uh, apply pressure and sing a tone. It could take a lot of time to get it down and sound very clean but the best tip I could give you is apply more pressure and try to do it again and I think you probably will get it. You can also make the trumpet lower as his is doing here and we can combine like You will also kind of need the Starsky bass. It's not the real Starsky bass but you use the same vibration. The I have a tutorial for the Starsky bass so you can check that out down in the description. But anyways you use this vibration and then you make a trumpet with that. So instead of making a regular tone through your hole right here you make a Starsky tone. So now you can get that's kind of important so you can learn that if you want to. You need some throat bass, it's just a minor part but I think it's throat bass he uses and it's when he's saying bim, bim, bim. You can check out my tutorial for the throat bass down in the description. You will need the PEH snare and combining that with the K snare. You will need the gun reload, it can also be called the gun cock. I actually think I have improved my gun reload since I did it before. So to make the gun reload there is a pretty good tutorial made by Tyler W. I will link that tutorial down in the description as well. But it's basically making a rim shot and that's the one in the middle of your mouth inward. It's like saying K in words and it's like swallowing it kinda. In the middle so it's a rim shot. And then you also make a K snare. And then you combine those, both the and the, so it's. Tyler W says a very good thing, it's like flapping your tongue like this. So that's actually what I'm doing, so I start my tongue down here, and then I make the rim shot. Make the case now on the side. I think that's a very helpful movement. I will type this as small letter K and then big letter K. Not to be confused with anything else. You will also need the double K not to be confused with the gun cock or the gun reload. So this is just outward K and then rim shot in the middle of your tongue. Same K inwards in the middle of your tongue. So it's two small letter Ks. Those are You'll also need the reverse lip roll. The it's like making a big hole in your lip roll and then closing it up. Also, this means breathing inwards. Finally, you'll also need the 
It's basically making a clop you probably did when you were younger. But you hollow your throat, so it's like you're yawning. And then you make the same thing. You keep your throat in that yawning position. And you try to get that as hard and as crispy sounding as possible. Before viewing you the routing and doing it in action, I will go through some patterns that you will probably need to practice a bit before you attempt this routing. So the first thing it does is the build up and it's the So it's basically saying F and then the bongo drum or vocalized case now. And then you make a What's important here is that you keep on humming even though you make the So you do that four times And then you skip the part and only do And then you keep on with four again and then you finish off with a Then you just do the same thing And then you do this whole thing again But to change it to a Instead of a So And then you start over with a Four times again And then you skip the part And you do six of those And now it's what you gotta think about here, I think, is that you do like and then you take a little pause and then you'd make the and then you make that So now a pattern I like myself a lot and I hope you will too and it's the So you start with a hi-hat and then you make the gun cock or gun reload and then you make a rim shot saying K inwards in the middle of your tongue. I also try to make like, like making my lips very uh, O shaped. And then it's a at the end. So, and then you make the, and then you repeat the process. Keep in mind that later in the routine, the disappears. So it's only a, you also kind of need this. That's throat bass, and then it's the just outward K, and then saying K inward, the rim shot in the middle of your tongue. So it could be difficult to get that fast. I think it's just about practice. Also, what you do is you widen out your tongue and then do the opposite, like closing up your mouth. So Also what I think you gotta think about is to keep the flow here, so it's not It's So try to think about that. Also I wanna go through this final pattern and it's the you're shaping your mouth to make it kind of like a falling sensation. Then after that you make the Recognize that that kick right there, it comes pretty fast after the So And you take a little break and then you make the PF snap. It's not Okay, so that was not the final pattern. I also want to go through this pattern. So this is the final 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 pattern. And it's like <laughs> Try to practice that pattern a bit. So now I hope you're ready and pumped for the routine to practice the routine itself. So as usual, I will show the beatbox script on top of me and you can try to follow along as good as you can. You can also change the speed as you know, you can press the gear and then slow it down almost as much as you want. And I really recommend you do that when you're starting this out. That's pretty much it. Let's make the routine. Bow. Where is my 
back, mm, mm, bring me go back, mm, mm, I'm going to crash, mm, mm, it's breaking down, down, mm, mm. willing my, mm, mm, be hard to bear, it's breaking down, down, <laughs> It's breaking down, down. Now, evolution. Where is my bring Eagle back? I'm going to crash. It's breaking down, down, down. I hope you learned something. So you probably won't get it like right away. Uh, you might have to practice a bit yourself before getting it. But I think uh, it's pretty much worth it because this uh, routine is uh, pretty cool, I think. Before ending, I just want to go through what I discovered when I tried to make the hiss triple clop. And I think it's like a throat click and then a hollow clop. And then hollow clop again, but doing it with a O-shaped mouth. And then a kick. And then a hollow clap again. I think this is how it does it, but when I do it, I think it's just too weak to actually use it. And when I make it fast, I can't even make it. So yeah, that's why I didn't cover that part too much in this video. Other than the triple clap, the rest of the routine is kind of like the same thing. I think you probably got a very big part of the uh, routine now. Without further ado, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe because more is coming. My name is Kirby and I'm out.